Hey, hi all. In this video, we will discuss about uh, one of the Salesforce uh, Chrome extension uh, that is LWC Editor. As its name suggests, you can edit uh, LWC code in that particular editor as well as you can create uh, Apex classes in that editor and you can also edit the Apex classes and uh, you can create uh, Lightning Web Components in that particular um, Chrome extension and uh, you can also edit the existing LWC components from your org. So as you You can see uh, the extension is this one, uh, it's, uh, Salesforce LWC Editor. And uh, <clears throat> we have to first uh, log in into our Salesforce org and then we have to just click on this LWC uh, Editor. So it will just open up uh, a window or an editor where we can do this thing. So there are some of the components which I've created. Uh, so If we go one by one, this is to hide or show the sidebar. And then if you want to create new component, we have to click on this. Uh, if we want to search for any LWC components, then uh, we can click on this and then we can enter the name of that particular LWC component. Uh, if you want to create any new Apex class, then we have to <coughs> click on this. So first uh, we will click on this and like, uh, what will be the name of that particular component? For an example, it will be first lightning web component so these are some of the properties like is exposed should be checked means it should be true then only it will be visible uh, on a particular record page or home page or app page so these are these are the different targets so in org where you want to showcase that particular uh, lightning web component on a record page app page home page so on which all uh, pages or on, on which all screen you want that particular lwc component to be displayed so you can select them uh, you can select them so for an example it's record page i will just deploy it so as you can see a new lighting component has been created so the file structure is uh, an html file will be there then a js file will be there and then a meta xml file so in the first screen which we have selected our record page so this is the target and we have set or we have selected that true button for is exposed so that's why it is now set to true okay <clears throat> these are the basic structure for these are the basic uh, file structure of lightning web components so one html file will be there one js file will be there and one uh, meta.xml file will be there for that particular lightning web component in the same way uh, we can create a new class for an example name of the class is first apex class as soon as we create it so the apex class is successfully created you can write your code according to your need or according to the business requirement or logic and once you hit save then uh, we have to write one method method can be public void the name of the method can be anything so for an example it is apc and this one. Okay, so. so now let's define a system dot debug. What will be the message? The message will be. Oh, sorry. And if you want, to, if you want to deploy it in so uh, in all, which is connected, so you have to just hit Control S. So that it saves, so it will ask. Like if you want to deploy these changes, so you can check that checkbox and you can hit OK. Or uh, as soon as you hit OK, the class will be saved in the org. So we will just go to the org and we'll check. So now. So 
now in this org. Control Shift O, and we will check for. So as you can see, the first Apex class now has been successfully deployed in this org. Uh, and if you want, we can debug it uh, in, uh, by running in the Animus window. So that's all for this uh, extension. And it is very helpful if you are working on WC components. You can uh, easily modify the components uh, whenever it's needed. It's not like you have to have VS code in your system and all that. Uh, all the things up, up to date, then only you will be able to edit your uh, Lightning Web component code. And in this, we have deployment output like uh, this is the result panel for that. Uh, if you want uh, it in the dark mode, then you can select this. So this is basically a color theme, uh, whichever you want, you can choose that. So that's all for this particular extension. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day.